So check this out guys, we just drove down to Simi Valley, the one area where you can still enjoy outdoor eating. So you know what time it is, mom? No, what time? It's time for Guess That Rating. And uh, I found a place that's a kebabbery. Never heard of a kebabbery. So we gotta hop on in there and uh, guess the rating. Come I'm on. excited. Let's, Let's do it. Good, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I see you. Three, please. Three? Oh, okay, follow me, please. Uh, what do you want to do outside? Can we sit outside? Uh, we don't have anything set up yet. And besides, uh, the wind is about to pick up, so mm -hmm. I want to save you the trip since you're wearing t-shirts. <laughs> I was going to... We can go outside, but if it gets cold. So this is a very interesting thing, okay? Because I haven't seen this in almost a year now, but when we pulled up, they, they were about to sit us inside. There are people sitting inside, which was really strange. We were like, whoa. Yeah, so like they're totally open for indoor, outdoor eating, and like they kind of wanted us to sit inside. We kind of were like, no, let's just sit outside. Yeah, so it feels safer outside. <laughs> this is a little bit different than what I'm used to. Uh, Simi Valley, they're a lot different. And today, they're actually closing all restaurants for good, so this is our last chance. So Simi Valley is part of Ventura County. We live in the LA County which the restrictions are a lot more tighter but I still haven't heard about inside yeah. dining. This is crazy but let's check out their menu and let's see what they serve here. So let's get the Joje kebab, uh -huh. let's get the Santor special kebab, and let's get that lamb shank one. I'm drinking a nice delicious Modelo on a Sunday. can't go wrong with a beer. I love it. I, I, I take a beer with Thank every you. meal, even breakfast. Me too. <laughs> We're crazies in the Taylor fam. We're gonna start with an appetizer. I see something crazy on here that I need to try. How are the stuffed grape leaves? It's good. What is that? Uh, that's a... Tolme, what, is that yeah, how you pronounce it? Yeah. It's like a grape leaf and it's got like, uh, it's good. what is it? Yeah, like rice yeah, that's and good. it's really good. Okay, let's yeah. get one of those to start. Okay. I've never heard of a grape leaf before. I honestly didn't even know grapes had leaves. Yeah. <laughs> You're such an uncultured swine. I mean, when, I, when I went to the vineyards, the vineyards mean vineyards. Same thing, eh? Do you think people are gonna make fun of me because I said vineyard? Probably. What's the big deal? Potato, potato. Tomato, tomato. Vineyard, vineyard. <laughs> So what we are working with here is our grape leaves. It's and a we vegetarian got some... dish. Ah, look it. So we are finally jumping onto the vegetarian wagon. I know you guys have always been wanting me to try some stuff, so here we go. Ooh, they're warm. They're Ooh, nice. Okay, here we go. How do you like it? It's good. It's kind of like it's a... It's like a creamy rice, though. Yeah, and it has like a lemony taste. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all right, <laughs> you know. I prefer meat in my diet, so. All right, Jake, you try it now. Oh. oh. Flavor profile is like really like interesting. Yeah. I don't know if it's the sauce or it's whatever's the actual grape leaf, but I or even I, the rice inside. Who knows? Yeah, I mean I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. Yeah, I mean, you really need to use the restroom. All so, right. be right back. Do it's your time. time. And this is Jake's bathroom review. We're back at it again. It's been so long. All right, here we go. Whoa, this place is a lot brighter than the restaurant. I think they're like kind of low-key high that they have people eating in the restaurant because I don't know the rules about it, but it's nice, look at it. Just because of COVID, they have all these like procedures. Looks pretty clean. They got a little, I don't know what those are. So you know, slip the side of the piss. Big old toilet. Got a change of station. I mean, it's a nice bathroom. But while you're here, check out the fit. How am I looking? All right. I'm hungry, time to go get food. Yo, they got a little concert hall back here. I think we should get Brennan to perform. If you didn't know, Brennan's song comes out December 11th, so pre-save that right now. Link will be in the description. Go check out the song to be fire. <laughs> First thoughts on this salad is that it doesn't look like they put any effort into it. But like the presentation of it isn't nice at all. It doesn't look like this is worth a $30 skewer. You know what I mean? Well, it's just supposed to be like a little side salad that comes I with understand. This just looks like it's just kind of thrown together. That's just my thought on it. Can it, someone tell me what kind of cheese this is? Looks like goat cheese. It's like a very like thick cheese. It's cottage. Co it's almost cottage, but it's not cottage cheese. But it's almost that consistency, definitely. I can't figure it out, I know. I don't like that cheese. I'm not crazy about the if cheese. If you guys know me, I'm lactose intolerant. Brennantaylor.com. So, already I don't like this cheese because it, it tastes very powdery. It's like a powdery cheese. It looks like liquidy, but then when you take a bite of it, it's just like, 
every bit of it separates in your mouth. That's yeah. like a powder. Maybe their milk expired and they just skimmed the top. Oh, maybe it's skim cheese. It is like a skim cheese. I think you're right. <laughs> it was like last I checked, the tomato was red, not orange, right? It just doesn't look like anything is like really fresh here. Because our salads are literally, yours is like yellow, you know what I mean? Like We are in Simi Valley, we drove four hours looking for a restaurant. <laughs> you no, know, so. we're doing the best we can. The holidays are around the corner and I really want everyone to be repping Brennan Taylor merch, even if you don't want to pay for it. I want to give it to you for free. So go to brennantaylor.com, click the free giveaway item, check out, put all your information because we're going to need that information to hit you up and send you that merch if you win. I'll be announcing a bunch of new winners. So go to brennantaylor.com, check out with that free giveaway item and maybe you'll be having some free merch pretty soon. So it actually looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, everything looks rather good. The first thing we're gonna dig into is the hen. Let's try this. This is the Joje. That's what it's called, Joje. Oh, this, I think it has a bone inside, right? Oh, it does have a little bone oh, inside. Oh yeah, I almost stuck this whole thing So it's out. almost like a little buffalo wing in a way. I'm gonna try it plain, just so we can. Mmm. That's really That's good. That's really good. The hen is very juicy. Very tender. Very tender. I, I really thought like when it meant bone in, it was gonna like, I didn't know this is what it meant. Like there was actually a bone in there. I thought it was gonna be a whole piece of chicken. That's what I thought. the bone in. So it's a little interesting. Very good though. Definitely has good flavor and you can definitely taste that it was cooked on a barbecue. You know what I mean? It gives you that barbecue yeah. flavor taste. It's definitely like a finger food though. Mm -hmm. You have to eat it with your fingers because it might eat the bone. And it's interesting that they call them skewers when it doesn't actually come on a skewer. Yeah. You know, they're kind of just pieces of chicken there. And, and, and then if we actually just peep over to the lamb real quick, we'll cut in the shot. It's literally like a giant leg that you just eat. That's how I thought the hen was going Yeah, it's come. not even categorized as a kebab. Right, like how are these kebabs? They're just laid up on, on a, a piece of very flat pita bread. I'm thinking this is pita bread. It's called lavash, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. It's like a lavash bread. I'm going to put this lavash back down because <laughs> I, I love my pita bread and I didn't get it here. I love my tomatoes and we only get yeah, one. They, and they really one slack little, you with this it's tiny. Like, it's like a quarter of a tomato. Let's try this rice. Let's see what this is like was beautiful until you put your fork in it. Mmm, mm. that's good rice. That's really good. So the next one is a filet. It really just looks like a giant piece of carne asada, well, to be honest. Because you thought it was gonna be like the end of the filet, yeah. but the lady said it's really the middle. So it's, oh, it's, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, it's obviously cooked, it's definitely like well done, well done. but let's try it, man. Eh? Sounded pretty dry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not happy with the that. Does not plate. taste like a filet mignon. It tastes like carne asada, mm -hmm. and, it, and, and it, it's not good. It's dry as hell. I it's almost hard to chew. I think they fooled us. I think we got scammed. I, no, on this, I think they they're thinking they're not gonna know the difference. Oh, I know the difference. Well, so do we I. should complain. I honestly am not happy about that. I'm For thirty-two dollars, that is the driest thing I've ever eaten in yeah. my life. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think we should even finish eating. Well, I think we should complain. I'm gonna put that off to the side. I'm not even trying to be rude to this restaurant. Like they're very kind people, but we're like we're being our honest reviews. This just tastes like flank steak or carne asada piece. It does not taste like filet mignon. No way. So ever. All right, so it's my time. I have the great honor of trying the lamb shank. I don't even know how to eat this. Do I hold it? Do what I are your it? thoughts on it by looking at it first? I don't know where on the lamb this came from, but it looks it looks all right. Oh, it's pretty tender. Ooh. Wait, let me get a shot. Me... Look how oh, it just wow. falls apart. So, that could be a good sign. It's completely cold. Don't cap. No way. No way. Yeah. No way. Try it. Hold on. This might be bad lighting. Like cold, cold? Like, like it was hot maybe 15 minutes ago. I mean, it has good flavor profile. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, it could be because we've been sitting. But it's pretty cold. But was it cold from the inside when you cut through? Yeah. Well, I mean, you could feel it. It doesn't taste like filet mignon. That's a filet mignon. It, it, 
it's dry. Oh, it's it's like hey, yeah. just one second. I talk to manager. Okay, okay please. This, this is, can they heat this up? It's this really is, cold. It's in the inside. inside. We just cut through and it's cold. It's like freezing. Like it's <laughs> in the inside. Okay. So I mean, we if like we, it. We like it though. This is really good. This is good, but it's just cold. Okay, I put. Please take. These are and your fork and knife. I put in the microwave. But this for sure. Yeah, okay, I'll like talk to manager about uh, that. Okay, it. just one second. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Let's see yeah, let's eat this before it gets cold. Look, I mean, at what least. What? She's just gonna put it in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, they said they were gonna heat it up. I mean, look. In the microwave. I'm not happy with this restaurant at all. Um, let's see what the manager says. Let's not let's not film right now. Let's wait till the manager comes out because it's probably gonna come out. So. Hey, hey my doing? friend. Good. How are Is you? Your food they messed up. Yeah. I apologize. No, it's no worries. Yeah. They're uh, gonna they're gonna redo it. Cool. Bring yeah. it out for yeah, you. How well, are you? Okay. Good. How are you? Very good. This is the first time we've come here. Yeah. But we were really disappointed with this filet. I, I don't blame I you. I mean, we eat it all. <laughs> they're shutting us down. I, I believe. I know, and now I they're know. cutting the, the. Some people didn't show up today. They thought it was Sunday. Oh. Actually, okay. Look, the manager was really kind in the fact that he he kind of you know he he basically knew what we were gonna say before we said it. Like he came out here yeah. knowing that the meat wasn't what it was supposed to be. He he blamed it on you know having less staff and yeah. COVID just being and the way it is. And today like the last day, and they some of the staff thought that. They were supposed to be closed today, right. so they didn't come in. But he was very, very apologetic. Yeah, and you know what? Maybe the reviews when we check at the end and we do our actual guests will be a lot different. And maybe this place is actually loved by a lot of people. So we're going to find that out. We don't want to be too hard on them because they were really nice. They did try, and they tried to mend the problem. They are going to comp our meal, and they, they heated up our thing. I don't know if they just threw it on the microwave or put it back yeah, on the she grill. Said, she said microwave. <laughs> she did? Yeah, she oh said my God. put it in the microwave. Okay, so. well, hey. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. It so is what it is. Let's, let's, let's try it again. <laughs> Let me try this again. Here we go. It looks like it's half Yeah, there's like, this is, look at this is only piece. That's it. That's it. That's all the meat that was on there. What so. did they do? Heat up the bone? I guess so. Probably, because it's very dried out now. Oh, this is, look at half of this is a bone too. Hold on. <laughs> That's all we got left. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your bite. <laughs> all right. What was that? I think I just binge with a bum. <laughs> well, was that your fault or their fault? I can't tell on that one. I don't know, man. Like, I mean, I just tried to peel the meat off and the bone came with it. How was I supposed to know the bone was still in there? I don't know. The rice is good, though. I feel like we're leaving the restaurant and I'm still starving. <laughs> well, because we couldn't eat half of it. <laughs> Bill is here. What we are working with today is $108. It was on the more expensive side. And to be honest with you, it wasn't like that great. Yeah. So, but look, we're gonna save our opinions until the end. So let's get home and let's really guess that rating. So what do we think? Let's start down by Jake. We're gonna start with money signs and then we'll do stars. So go money sign first. Money sign, uh, three. Three, three money, money signs? Money. I might go two money signs on this one. I'm thinking two as well. Okay. okay. Let's go stars. Stars, uh, that's a tough one. That's from tough. Our, from our experience, I would say it's like a two and a half star. Two and a half star. But I feel like we're gonna be I'm gonna be tricked on that one. Okay, yeah, you know, we did kinda go on and off time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little lenient with them here and just give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say three and a half stars. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Can we say the same thing? So I, I think I think on a normal circumstance and it would Pre-COVID, that's all you know, All that. Yeah. This is what I'm thinking. It would probably be like almost a four star, three okay. and a half, four. So, but based with our experience, yeah, I would two. Yeah, today. our Maybe experience two. two, I think. Yeah, but I'm gonna be fair and say three and a half. Okay, okay. three, two, one. Three and a half stars. Wow. Wow. You know, that's interesting because it's, it's basically a mediocre place is what the reviews say. Let, let's see let's see their pictures and let's see what they, the people are getting versus what we got today, okay? So we didn't look wow. at the salmon, but salmon that looks great. really good. This actually this looks like a photo that someone came in and did to promote All the restaurant. All these photos are. You gotta yeah. like go through the reviews. Look at this. Their tomato just looks so oh, wow. nice. Okay, look at that tomato. And think about the tomatoes we had, okay? We have these little teeny Squish tomatoes. down. And if you look at the tomato in the back that's in the salad, we had orange tomatoes. Yeah. That's yeah. very red. That chunk chicken plate looks pretty good though. That does. We didn't get any we onions didn't. like wait, that wait, on the wait, side. Wait, our look. rice doesn't look like that. Let, let's see what some of these reviews say, okay? Uh, the lamb chops were cooked a notch above well done. That's kind of how our meat was cooked. 
over uh, well done. So they were very dry and hard. Yes. Yeah. But ours became very dry and hard after they took it out of the microwave the second time. Yeah. So. And that's a total no-no to like admit that you have. Yeah, a that was so restaurant. embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, restaurants shouldn't have microwaves. Well, this was an expensive disappointment. Already so far true. <laughs> I want to point out that the beef was absolutely not filet mignon. Pretty totally. sure it was skirt steak. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah, it, it was not filet mignon. They were trying to pass this off to us like we were dumb in the beginning. They're, she was like, no, it is filet mignon. We were like, this is not filet mignon. They're probably like, there's those two kids in the patio with that woman and let's just give <laughs> it was, them something else. Let's scam them. Either way, I mean, the reviews kind of speak exactly what we spoke. And honestly, if we were to have looked at this before, we would have never even stepped into this oh, restaurant. Yeah. So. Okay. Look, you guys take it as you please. Like I said, we just do our reviews. We're not trying to mess up any businesses or anything. We're just trying to like be a walking Yelp review in a way. And this was our results. That wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. If you want some of the merch, go on the brandontaylor.com site. We got some new sweatpants Ooh, too. So yeah. you guys don't want to pick those up on brandontaylor.com. But look, if you want something for free, just check out with the free giveaway item. Make sure you fill in all the information like your email and your address. So if you win, we can hit you up and send you all the stuff. Uh, it's completely free to join the raffle, so good luck. Pick something up, brennantaylor.com, and until next time, we will all see you guys later. Peace Bye! Out.